Hey, I want to encourage you with one little simple statement today. Keep your head up. I know we're all going through changes, difficult times, times where we're wondering with uncertainty what's going to happen next. In this episode of Bishop Lipton Live here on Relevant Word, I want to give you some reasons why you need to keep your head up right after this. Welcome back to another episode of Bishop Lipman Live and Relevant Word. It is always a joy to share these times of teaching and meditation with you. If you're new to my channel or to my page, I am so happy to welcome you. Be sure that you become a subscriber. I love to go back and read your comments and fellowship with you in the comments. Some years ago, there was a song released. I want to say it was the 1960s. That was before I was born, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but it's entitled You'll Never Walk Alone. I remember growing up in high school in Tift County, Tifton, Georgia, Tift County High School, and I was the student conductor for our chorus there at the school, which meant that every day my responsibility was to warm the choir up and get them ready for our choral professor, teacher, who would come and then lead the class period. Oftentimes when our choral directors would be out they would have a sub. Sometimes they wouldn't even go through the trouble of having a sub. They would leave me with the lesson plan. And it was my responsibility to take my peers through a time of learning of music. And so I would play the piano and I would rehearse the choir and all of this in high school and actually middle school as well. And it was a great joy in my life. One of the songs that I remember us doing was called Hold Your Head Up High. And the lyrics of it say, when you walk through a storm, hold your head up high and don't be afraid of the storm at the end of the road that's it there's a golden something or other <laughs> and i don't even remember the rest of it but it's a beautiful beautiful song but that song reminded me and it planted a seed in me very early in my life that there were going to be days of darkness and cloudiness and days of weariness and even as a teen i went through depression and went through a lot of different things in school but the one lesson that it left me with is, no matter what happens, you have to decide to hold your head up high. Now that doesn't mean that you are looking above others, that your nose is in the air. It just simply means that you make the decision to be positive about your outlook. That you remember the fact that you have something greater on the inside of you than those things that you may be going through. And as I think about holding your head up high, I want to lift that up to you in this particular session. Psalm 121 verse number one says, I will lift up mine eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. My help comes from the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. In that Psalm, the writer of that Psalm actually asks a question. He says, I will lift up mine eyes to the hills. That's a declaration. But then comes an interrogative. There's actually a question mark at the end of the next sentence. He asks the question, from where does my help come from? Then he answers it with an exclamatory, my help comes from the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. Number one, we ought to lift up our heads because of the help that is available to us. You see, our help is not a stimulus check or stimulus package. It is not in Congress, it's not in Senate, it's not in the right vote, it's not in the right party, it's not in the right president, mayor, governor, city councilman, none of that. Our help comes from the Lord. That I have reasons to have hope because the Lord is my hope and he says i will lift up my eyes now we, we ought to lift up our heads because of who our help is but we also ought to lift up our heads because it is a decision that we make on a daily basis it's a habit we 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 know our help but it's a habit i will lift up i will it's a declaration no one is going to stop me. Nothing is going to stop me. Nothing's going to slow me down from lifting my head up because it's a habit 
that I have developed. It's, it's who I am. I am not a person of the downward look. I am a person of the upward look. And it is my habit to believe and to expect great and greater in my life, despite what it is that you're going through right now. It's your habit. You know who your help is. But he says, my help comes from the Lord. Actually, cometh, E-T-H in Old English, is S. So it means it comes from the Lord, but it keeps coming <laughs> from the Lord. So we lift up our heads because it's a holy habit. It belongs to us. We are people of the upward look. We ought to lift up our heads because of our heavenly help. Our help, our help. We're not without, we have help. Our help comes and keeps on coming and never stops coming from the Lord. But I want you to see this last thing. It's the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. And so I want you to see that we ought to always lift up our head because of his hands. His holy hands are a reason why we ought to lift up our head. What do you mean his holy hands? This is not a God someone created somewhere. This is not uh, uh, some statue. This is not some arbitrary, magical portion, some, some creation, some mockery of a God, some representation of good luck. This is, my goodness, the God who made the heavens and the earth. His hands created everything, the beauty of nature. The, the storm was created by his hands. Every animal, every plant, every person, you and me, created by his hands. And whatever he creates, he can correct. Let me do that again. Whatever he creates, he can correct. Meaning whatever is wrong in your life, lift up your head. Because you've got the hands of God accessible and available to you, reaching out to you, waiting for you to look up to him. That's why you ought to lift up your head. You're a child of the king. You're blessed beyond measure. You're not serving some weak mamby pamby God. You're serving the creator of the heavens and the earth. So lift up your head. Don't hang your head down another day. You may not know where your next meal is coming from, your next dollar is coming from, but you do know the one who made everything that meals come from. You know the one who made the trees where every dollar comes from. And he's your heavenly father. And he wants you to trust him. And he wants you to look up and know that your redemption draws now. I want to pray with you right now. And I pray that you've been encouraged by these few words. Let's pray. God, thank you for my friend who is watching or listening to my voice right now. Thank you for Psalm 121, verse number one, which reminds us that we have every reason in the world to look up. So God, instead of us looking down, feeling down, being down, walking down, talking down, and ending up low down, help us to lift up our heads, to trust you for more, because you've got more in store for us bless us and keep us now in these difficult times keep us well keep us healthy father watch over our finances watch over our family our fitness our future and our faith and we trust it all into your hands as we lift up our heads to the hills from whence cometh our help our help comes and keeps on coming from the Lord. Well, listen, I pray that you've been blessed by this time. I am so blessed every chance I get to share with you. I'd love to share with you further. If you have a prayer request and would like confidential prayer, I'd love to respond to your prayer request and send you scripture to encourage your faith and keep you motivated in this changing and challenging time. Simply send me an email to prayerwithbishop at gmail.com. Again, that's prayerwithbishop at gmail.com. 
gmail.com. Also, if you'd like to join my e-class and study the Word of God a little more deeply, I'd love to share my free study guides with you along with audio content that you can listen to and get more out of God's Word. Join my e-class. What are you waiting for? I don't need a transcript. I don't need an application. I don't need your social. I don't need your mother's maiden name. None of that. All I need you to do is send me an email to clearstudies at gmail.com. Again, that's clearstudies at gmail.com. And just simply type in there, sign me up or I'm in or something simple like that. And we will get you on our e-class list. You don't have to worry about being asked questions in front of everybody. It's very private and all of that. If you have a question, you can ask it, but we'll never put you on the spot, never embarrass you. I'm here to bless you, not to embarrass you. So I want you to be part of my e-class. Send it right now. I love y'all and a thing you can do about it. Keep your head up. Keep your head up. Hey, keep your head up. God bless you.